Start recording. Here we go. So let's say you are trying to make something that translates an empty string. So let me give you a simpler one. You want to have, you want to make this. You want to make it so that you can run a script and have, this is a markdown link. You want to surround this text uh, and you want it to automatically populate it with a link. So in your VI, you want to do that, right? Uh, so you see how that works, right? And why would you use that? Well, if you're, let's say you're, you're editing a file, uh, foo.markdown or something, uh, and you say, here is uh, my reg X, regular expression uh, link. And you just want to be able to save that and have it automatically fix that, right? Well, the first step to that is getting this to be seen and converted. So we wrote this. So you, you want to change that and you want it to do what I'm about to do. So I do bang, bang, and I pass it to two duck and then it, it populates it. It grabs the text out of it and makes a link to a search so that I can just click on the link in the search in the web page and it'll go right to it. And then if I don't know exactly what I want to link to directly, I can just link generally to a search. And the cool thing is, is that then later you can put this in your Vim RC uh, so that you, I, I did another one in Perl here. I'm about to fix this one so it doesn't in DuckDuckGo. This is actually the one I'm fixing right now. Uh, and so instead of doing this, I can get rid of all of this Perl Pi, which is awesome, and and just do it by sending it, sending the whole thing through uh, through uh, to Duck. Okay. Now, uh, if I do that, we should be able to see this pretty quickly. So this is this is the the scenario. The scenario is you want to be able to say uh, I have another another uh, link here. Now I should be able to save this and have it work. No, it didn't. It's just on on save right now, I think. Yeah, it's not happy. Well, that's that's the scenario anyway. <laughs> so let me go fix my VMRC again. Uh, turn it off for now, it's not ready. But it will be, it will be very soon. And, you won't, and, and when this is done, we will not have to use uh, Perl, which is fine to do this, but the reason I did this video is because in the process of making this video, it became apparent to me uh, something that I've kind of had a sense of for a while, but never really documented it well. So I went into the map page and figured it out. So it turns out that um, so it, it turns out that pattern matching is different than regular expressions. Now you knew that Right? You guys know what they are? If you don't, we're going to have to do a whole video on it. I don't want to go too overboard on this. They're not the same. And so let me, let me here's the example. So let's say you, 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 you know about regular expressions. You know about that they grab out areas. I'm not going to explain it in this video. And that's what happens here, right? So this says, this line says, hey, go find that line that has the brackets around it and an empty parenthesis combination and take the stuff in the middle out. And then the parentheses here say, capture that and put it into the the bash rematch stuff and so one zero is the whole match and one is the thing that's not what we're here to talk about that is awesome right but then when i went to replace it i was like oh what about this parameter expansion where i do a slash or a double slash you probably know about this this is a way to take a a, a, a line or something and transform it without using set you just say okay i'm going to replace it now the thing that that catches me every time is that the expression between the slashes here in a parameter expansion replacement is a pattern match and not a regular expression. They look very similar. And I'm not gonna go into detail about the difference. I just wanna point, this video is just to point out the difference to you. So like when you're doing this kind of refine and replace, this is totally different. You'll notice that this has a bracket, right? But this just has a star here. And the star says match zero or more of a thing. Now I probably, uh, I mean, I could put a plus there or something. There's lots of other things. but. Um, but it means something totally different, right? And then this, so this, this kind of loosey goosey looks for any text that starts with a you know, bracket and then ends with a bracket and then has empty parentheses after it. And then replace it with the stuff that we got out of our regular expression match, our true regular expression match, which is much more powerful because we can save off the, the, the fields and the, the, you know, the, the spans, whatever you want to call them. 
And so then we stuff our text in there, which is the stuff from inside the brackets. And then we, we grab our duck prefix, put it here. And then we URL encode, which is another video. Go watch that. The the text that comes out of there. So this URL encoding, by the way, is all in Bash. There's no, you can do it entirely in Bash. Uh, if you wanted to make your script portable, you could put the URL encoding inside of here if you really wanted. Uh, it's actually not that hard. Um, in fact, bang, bang, let's do it. Uh, let's do r which uh, url encode i mean why the hell not we'll just we'll make um raw encoded url if this yes there's wrong docker okay, okay so now i can just call uh wrong code url line if i wanted to do that. so you can put that in there if you want uh this it's it's pretty hairy though so <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want to do. I'll take it out right now. I don't need it because I'm using the Unix method, which means I've already got it someplace else. So I don't, I have a dependency on another script, but it's a script that's already guaranteed to always be there. So the main point of, the, of this is regular expressions are not patterns. So you need to know the difference between a glob pattern and, and a regular expression. But most importantly, uh, when you see a slash here inside of this parameter matching stuff, that does not mean it's a regular expression. I mean, a lot of times people will think that because that's how said does it or awkward. I mean, but it's not. It's it's this is a glob pattern. It's a glob pattern. You can set that to extended. You can do you just read all about it in the man page. So this is the this is pattern matching, and this is a regular expression, and that's the difference. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Bye.